Hello everybody, my name is Mike Campanini and I will be demonstrating the ASCII scene export script for Blender 2.63a. We're going to start with installation, close my Norton alert, by going file, user preferences, and I downloaded the file and uh, placed it on my desktop. So I'm going to click add-ons and then go to install add-on. I'm going to scroll over to my desktop, I'm going to double click this guy right here. And since I already had it installed, you're going to see two. I can remove this old one. And now I have the script on my machine and inside my Blender uh, run. Now I can save as default if you want this loaded automatically every time. So I'm going to close out this. And you can see my model of the day will be this zucchini, since my garden is producing zucchini now. and. What I'll be doing is uh, placing this inside of UDK with the texture and smoothing groups and collision objects and uh, showing you a step-by-step -step way to do it. All right, so we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is show you my scale, my blender units. If I press N, I can open up this uh, panel on the right and I have my line set to 16, my scale to 1, and my subdivisions to 12. Now, since I use uh, feet and inches, I set my subdivisions to 12. So each one of these uh, lines, if I zoom in a lot, each one here is going to be one inch. All right. If I zoom out, and hopefully you can see the uh, grid line right here, the grid floor, the little, uh, the lighter ones, it goes all the way up to here. So I have a separation of every one inch, I have a grid line that's a little bit darker, and every 12, I have a lighter line. So this zucchini is about one foot tall. Uh, it is a large one. Now, you'll see this orange dot down here, which is the origin of my mesh. So when I bring this inside of UDK, it's going to automatically be what's called floored. So the bottom of this mesh will be wherever I place it. So it's not going to uh, start in the center of the floor when I import it into UDK. Now, for smoothing groups, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by selecting this line right here, pressing Control and E, and press Mark Sharp right here. And what that's going to do initially is make two smoothing groups. One for the bottom of the zucchini, so I want this all to be smooth down here, and one for the top. Now the top is a little bit trickier because I have the stem here. I do not want that to be all smooth. Uh, so these pieces, going into face mode, I can show you, these pieces should be sharp edges. Uh, so I'm going to fast forward the video and do this real quick. Uh, and I will slow the video down once I finish. So starting by selecting this group here. And I'm holding Alt, Shift, and right clicking on the line to select the edge group. Press Control E, Mark Sharp. And I'm gonna do this on the bottom as well. Okay, so now I created multiple uh, smoothing groups on the top of the stem, and this should uh, work just fine. So the next step is I'm going to press tab to go into object mode, and I'm going to hit shift S. You see how my 3D cursor is over here. Shift S is going to allow me to uh, recenter the uh, 3D cursor, and so the next time I enter a mesh, which is going to be a cylinder, it's going to end up where the 3D cursor is. Now if I press T, I'm going to change the vertices down to 6. I don't need this to be super high, 
and I'm gonna go into edit mode by pressing tab uh, G Z to align to the x-axis I'm gonna floor the origin of the collision object I'm gonna scale this guy up go into wireframe scale it up a little bit more scale along the z-axis and rotate just a little bit I'm gonna go into the object icon over here and I'm gonna give it a name of UCX underscore and then whatever I want I'm just gonna type bottom now I'm gonna create I try to move this down just a little bit I'm gonna create a second one by pressing shift D moving it up rotating this guy scaling it down placing it where it needs to go scale Z and there we go and I'm gonna name this guy UCX underscore top all right so that is done now we have our collision objects and we have our smoothing groups so pressing Z to go out of wireframe mode I'm gonna select everything here and you'll notice that I didn't really do any materials uh, so if I click back on my original mesh it has one material and it has a texture image now the difference between the 2.01 script and even the 2 script versus the previous versions is you do not have to have an image texture uh, in order for it to export without an error so let's say if I deleted this image texture and just hit new that's good enough right so to do the whole process one more time if we did not have a material on it pressing new going over to the texture panel press new and that's all I have to do now I'm skipping a part intentionally just to show you what the error in UDK is in case you get it I'm gonna go file export ASCII scene export and you'll see we have some options over here to triangulate, recalculate, remove doubles, etc., etc. And my scale is set to 16. Uh, I'm making this zucchini rather large, and it's going to import rather large. So I'm going to hit export, and I dumped it right onto my desktop. I'm going to go in the UDK, right click, import, and as I said, it's going to give me an error. I think it was this guy right here import and this is the error I was talking about generated import vertex count ratio so what that means is that it is not detecting I'm gonna delete this because I'm not going to use it it is not detecting the second UV and going back in just selecting my main model I can hide these guys I'm going to select the object data icon over here on the shelf and go down to UV maps. You'll see that I have one UV already and if I slide this over, get rid of those extra panels, there's my first UV map. If I click the plus sign here, it's going to duplicate the UVs. So now I have two of the same. Now, the question usually is how do I get light map UVs? Uh, I could use this second one just fine and it would work or I can go over here to my mesh where I have everything selected press U light map pack and just use the default set settings so now I have two separate UV textures I'm going to export this guy out again file export ASCII scene export and there we go opening up UDK import Go to my desktop. Now I'm not going to get that error. And just for fun, I went ahead and I made a diffuse for the zucchini. I'm going to create the material. Wait for this to import. Open up my material, which is right here. Click the texture, and I'm going to slide it over by pressing Control click and then sliding it where I can see it clicking the check mark to apply my change opening back up my zucchini in the mesh editor and I'm gonna go down to the material selecting my diffuse mat clicking the green arrow to apply the material 
I'm also going to select can become dynamic. And just to show you the UV channels, the first UV channel is the, actually the second one in Blender. The zero UV channel is the first one. And I'll hide the UVs. Now we'll show the collision models. So there we go, we have collision. And remember what I said that this will be a large zucchini. So I'm going to move this in. Press spacebar, rotate these guys around. Close this guy. Build lighting. Fast forward the video. This will take about a minute. back now just to get a little bit more fun out of this I'm gonna go edit or excuse me view world properties and I'm gonna set the game type to deathmatch I'm gonna make sure that no default inventory for player is off and then I'm gonna play Setting the game mode is going to give me the gun, and I want the gun so I can shoot my zucchini. Pretty cool, right? So now we have our collision objects. Our collision objects, sorry, we got carried away there, um, are going to allow me to shoot the zucchini and walk into it. And there we go, we have our static mesh. So, pretty cool, pretty easy. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, leave a comment, or you can get in touch with me by private messaging me on YouTube or uh, on the UDK forums. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks.